Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up to use assistive touch for double click on the iPhone 13 series. Now, normally you can double click on the side button here to approve for your Apple Pay or to install an app. So instead of that, you can use this assistive touch button to approve the payment. Now, let's see how you can set it up. First, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on your home screen, we're going to, let me just get rid of that. Okay, so on the home screen, we're going to tap on settings. In settings, you want to go down and tap on accessibility. Then we go down and tap on touch. Next, tap on assistive touch. And make sure you turn on assistive touch to use this feature. Now swipe up and go down all the way down to the bottom and then tap on confirm with assistive touch. So tap on that to turn it on. Next, we are now on the setup screen. So you want to tap on the continue button and then you need to double click to confirm. So press on this side button twice. So one, two. All right, next you need to put in your lock screen passcode. So I'm going to put in my passcode, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you need to double click on it again, once more to confirm. Okay, so we're now done. We have successfully set up the assistive touch for the double click on the side button. So now that we have set it up, we can test out by, let's say we got, we're going to try to uh, install an app. So I'm going to browse um, across and then open up the app store next I'm going to try to install an app so I'm going to tap on the get button and normally it will um, pop up a small message on the side here saying that you need to press on the side button twice so instead of using the side button now I'm going to use the assistive touch button so I tap on the assistive touch button then I tap on device next tap on more then tap on pay okay and at this point you can tap on the back key to cancel or you can tap on confirm apple pay and you can see that it's say now done and we have successfully approved the installation of this app now this one will work the same as um, for apple payments so when you need to use apple pay to make a payment again you can go in here tap on device and then tap on more and then tap on apple pay now if if um, using the assistive touch and you need to go in too many levels, so you need to tap on it many times to get to app pay, you can re actually reorganize your assistive touch so that it can display that shortcut at the top level. So say um, you can put it in custom or you can replace Siri instead or the control center. Uh, if you don't use the control center, you can actually replace it with control center. So let's see how you can change that shortcut. Yeah, now we're going to go back into settings and then we tap on settings here we're going to go back and then go down to accessibility then we tap on touch assistive touch and then we want to customize top level menu or you can even set long press so instead of um, changing the menu you can use long press to approve so here you can tap on long press and let's see if we got the apple in here so I'm just trying to look for the Apple uh, Pay. Here it is, Pay. Okay, so we've got now Apple Pay uh, uh, shortcuts. Or you can change the customized top level menu as well. So we can remove um, this icon here. So instead of using the control center, we can change it to Pay, Apple Pay. And then tap on Done. And then tap on Back. So what we have done um, just then is that I have now we reorganize my top level menu and replace control center with Apple Pay or I can long press on this to approve for Apple Pay. And so let's say if I go in here now and try to install another app. Okay. And then now I can long press on it to approve the installation. Okay, so instead of now instead of um, 
approving the installation and actually bring up my Apple Pay. So I think we need to actually go in here and just tap on the Apple Pay uh, button. So I'll do that again. So now ask to confirm with Assist of Touch. I think we need to get actually just press on the Apple Pay button. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.